What's going on guys? Mitch Crew here from Wild Horses and today we are talking about the February edition of the Bronco Breakdown. Now I know I never really explained what that was, but stick around and you guys will get the backstory on all of that. It's gonna be sick. This episode is gonna be sick. A lot of Bronco stuff went down in the Bronco world and we're gonna cover all of that today. Okay, so how about we start with what the heck is the Bronco Breakdown? I didn't actually have the concept until I was uploading the January edition, and I was trying to think of what I could do to make this more interesting than just a new product video, which is what that video intentionally was, which is why there's only new products in there. I brainstormed, I talked to some of our team, and we came up with the Bronco Breakdown, basically where we talk about all of the Bronco news that happens in the Bronco community. Whether that be rumors of the 2020 Bronco, whether that's someone rolling their Bronco, whether that's you guys sending in stuff that you think is super sweet, you guys can go ahead and do that. You guys have my email. If there's anything that you guys want shared, we'll, we'll try to work that into this segment. So that's gonna take up a big chunk of what this video series is. Next on the list, of course, we are gonna work our new product in to keep you guys up to date on what we have available for your early Bronco. After that, we'll go into future announcements, uh, events, anything that we want you guys to be aware of, anything that you guys should be preparing for. We're basically here to keep your finger on the pulse of the Bronco world. So if you aren't subscribed already, and this Bronco thing is something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on everything that happens in the Bronco community, the Bronco world, the Bronco universe. One last thing that we are gonna do at the end of the video is we are going to choose the Bronco of the month. We just posted on Classic that you guys can start sending in your pictures because we are starting to design our new catalog. So what we're gonna do every month is as you guys send in your pictures, our team is going to sit down and we're going to pick one that we think I don't know. I don't. We don't know the qualities for uh, the Bronco of the month yet. We're gonna sit down and talk about that. This is in the beginning stages, guys. So stick around. This will get a lot better as time goes on. But yeah, Bronco of the month. We're not going to have that this month, but we are going to have the Bronco clip of the month, which I will talk about at the end of the video. But anyways, if you want a chance to be featured on this channel and on our social media, submit your photos. But that's all the boring introductory stuff out of the way. You guys want Bronco news, and this clipboard is jam-packed with Bronco news. Let's dive in. So the first bit of Bronco news kind of happened early February. Very sentimental moment in the Bronco community. A lot of you guys follow Matt's Garage, on YouTube, he decided that he was going to sell his Bronco. What you guys need to check out though, is the person that he sold it to. Mile 3 Garage, I'll link them in the description. He's going to be taking over the Matt's Garage build. I don't, it's not gonna be called the Matt's Garage build anymore, I don't think. The Mile 3 Garage build, Chris is going to do an amazing job. Good luck to you, Chris. We can't wait to see what you do with the Bronco. Next up, still in the YouTube world, a big time YouTube channel called the LeBrant Fam bought a sweet looking Bronco. The wife basically surprised her husband with his dream vehicle. It's a very cool family. I'd never heard of them before. My sister actually told me about them because it had a Bronco. So I checked it out. Hopefully they do more stuff with the Bronco. So I'll link that video in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. And let me know what you guys think. Moving on. This isn't super big, but uh, like I said, this is the beginning stages of the Bronco breakdown, so Bronco news is pretty slim. But on YouTube, the big time gamer channel, Elanip, Elanip, uh, whatever, raced around a full-size Bronco on the channel. It's actually pretty funny. Screw you, LDTT. Yes, Bronco, baby. Oh, oh my, oh, I think I won. 
We're yeah. the winners, dude. They all die. They're burning. It's fine. Go ahead and check that out if you could deal with gamer channels. I personally can't. But that one was funny. So, you know, it's your choice. If you guys hear any better Bronco news, which I'm sure you will, you should, my email's down below. Let me know for the month of March, and we'll, we'll try to work it into the, uh, the program. <laughs> Or not that professional here. This is a this is a running gun deal. But moving on. Okay, and last thing on YouTube, and this one's actually pretty exciting. Flying Sparks Garage just announced that they will be working on their Ford Bronco on their channel. So go check out their channel. They'll be doing a engine swap, twin stick install. Uh, I don't know how much of that they will actually be showing, but uh, it's 30 minute long videos. So go ahead, uh, watch the intro video so that you know what they're doing. Subscribe so that you can keep up to date on all of that stuff. Super cool a husband and wife. Yeah, we look forward to seeing what they do with their Bronco as well. So Flying Sparks Garage. Check them out. Uh, that's everything for YouTube, but of course the Bronco world doesn't stop on YouTube. We have a little uh, inside connection with the winner of the King of the Hammers 2019. Jason Shear, I uh, want to give a shout out to that guy for winning the King of the Hammers 2019. And this is Bronco News because he used to be a customer of ours. I don't know if he still has his Bronco or not. But uh, it's pretty cool to see someone win the King of the Hammers uh, that you know. So congrats, Jason. That is actually his second time in a row winning King of the Hammers. Impressive guy. That's just what we Bronco people do. We, uh, we set the bar, man. Sometimes. Like, the Bronco breakdown bar is, like, way down here. But uh, we'll bring it up eventually. Anyways. Moving on. This one's cool. At the end of January, uh, Bronco Driver Magazine came out with issue 79. If you guys aren't subscribed to the Bronco Driver Magazine, you guys should do so. There are a ton of great stories. Uh, you can find anything you need for your Bronco, or at least the connections to the places that have that stuff in that magazine. So check it out. In this issue, there are a lot of great stories. We actually got a shout out from Mike Caudill, who we met out in Bronco days in, uh, in November. I just chilled with him by the campfire, talked to him for a little bit. Didn't get to wheel with him, unfortunately. But super cool guy. His Bronco build was at SEMA. Very incredible build. It was nice kicking it with Mike. And thanks, thanks for the shout out, Mike, if you're watching this. Another good thing about the magazine is you can check out our ad on the front page. That's a great place to keep in touch with what we're pushing, what, with what we're promoting, and what we have available other than these videos. We put a lot of our new products and a lot of our, our best selling products that you guys like, that you guys enjoy, and uh, hopefully get you guys more connected with, uh, with what we're doing with new products and, uh, and all of that. But speaking of new parts, that brings us to the next segment of this video, which is the Wild Horses new parts for February. Now there wasn't an overflow of parts this month. Next month is going to be crazy. Just take my word for it. Oh, oh, we have got some sick Bronco stuff coming out, guys. You guys are gonna be pumped about it. I already know. Man, I just wish I could tell you. But we're gonna wait till the parts are sitting in stock. We're gonna show them to you guys. So come back next month where you can see the rest of those, uh, those sick parts. Anyways. Anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. New products for this month. Here we go. All right, so with the new products, the truth is I could actually fit them in my front jacket pocket. But the first part that we are going to talk about is the new custom straps for your door. Now the purpose for these is to hide any kind of wires that uh, you may be running through your door. So for things like power windows or maybe you have speakers that you're running into your door. This comes with, and I'm gonna take these footman loops out. This comes with a Velcro side so that you could run your wires through there and close them so that you're not, you're not showing ugly wires, you're not doing all this stuff, you don't have to drill a bunch of crazy holes. It helps contain the mess. We have two different versions of this. You can buy just the pair of straps. You can use your old footman loops and hardware, or you can go with the strap with the loops and the hardware if you're looking for something new and shiny. So there's those two options. They're not that expensive. 
uh, links below. Our next new product is the Billet Brake Release Handle. This comes in a clear version and a black version. It resembles stock, so you're not getting a super blink. <laughs> this is Brian. Brian's gonna talk about our new Billet Brake Release Handles. The new Billet Brake Release Handles are sick. Easy to use, easy to distinguish. What easy, using easy it for. to pull. Yeah. They pull nicely. I hope they do. <laughs> Peace! But yeah, guys, these are just another little flare to the interior of your rig, your little ongoing project that you can't seem to get just right. Try these out. These may do it. Probably not, but they may. This may be the touch that you need to send your Bronco to the next level. So come back in March. We have some sick products coming. All right, now talk about adding a flare, uh, not just to your Bronco, how about you add a flare to yourself? If you haven't noticed, I am wearing the new Wild Horses Camo Snapback. We just released four new snapbacks. I think they look sick. You guys think they look sick. We actually sold out of the Rocky hat because you guys dig them. So we're gonna purchase more. We're gonna pump them out to you guys. If you guys want one, the link's below to go ahead and pick one up. I know how much you guys like Bronco gear. If that's something that you guys want, go ahead and check it out. Um, really, that sums up the new products for February. Like I said, pretty dry. I promised that I would let you guys know what's available for your Bronco. And that is the stuff that's available. So uh, with that being said, let's move on to all of the future events, future things that you need to be thinking about in the Bronco world. Okay, first off, we have the Arizona Stampede coming up March 15th through the 17th. Uh, we haven't been to Arizona in a couple years, two, three years, I think it's been. It's always a lot of fun. Lots it's a great food out there. For those of you guys who, who are going, go ahead and comment below. We did just post on Classic that uh, if you guys want us to bring orders down there so you could save a little bit on shipping, call us up and, and let the guys know, hey, I want Jim and Mitch to trailer this stuff down so I don't have to pay shipping. We'll gladly do that for you guys, but there is limited space. And once we run out of space, once we can't throw anything else on the truck, your order's not gonna make it. First come, first serve. Make sure you guys get in line if that's something that you want to take advantage of. But that's the Arizona Stampede. We'll be there, we're looking forward to it. Next thing, the biggest West Coast deal is our Bronco Roundup. Uh, it's a big deal to us because we have to do all the planning and whatnot, we can't just show up. The Wild Horses Bronco Roundup, it's our fifth one. You guys have come out four years in a row. You guys have loved it. Just come out, come check out the Broncos, even if you don't have a Bronco. I'm telling you in advance, so yes, you can work on your Broncos, but if you don't get it done, come out, get some more motivation. Let's make this the biggest Bronco event, break all records. I wish I could give you guys a number, but I honestly don't know. Let's get 300 Broncos to the roundup this year. That would be pretty sweet, guys. Pack our parking lot out. Give me sweet food, sweet giveaways, and sweet deals, so make sure you make it to the Wild Horses Bronco Roundup. Forgot to say the date, April 6th. Write it down, put it on your calendars, do like 20 alerts. Anyways, we're moving on. Ah, this is a bit of juicy news about the 2024 Bronco. So, I won't say the name, or the company, but we talked to a guy who has actually seen the renderings of the 2020 Bronco. And I quote, this is what he said, it's not bad. It's not bad. That is promising. So you guys do what you want with that information. Maybe some of you guys, your hearts just dropped and you gave up, you're gonna go buy a Jeep, I don't know. We're still clinging on to the hope that this will be something that we can move on with in the future. We're in the same boat as you guys. You guys probably know more about it than I do. Anyways, no big promises there, guys. But you best believe that we will be there to cover the unveiling of the Ford Bronco. We will expose this pit of secrets and lies and rumors and gossip, or we won't. Maybe, maybe they're not coming out with the 2020 Bronco. All right guys, with that out of the way, for this month, we don't have the Bronco of the month yet, 
but we will be doing the Bronco Clip of the Month, uh, a new YouTube channel called Project Break Horse. Basically did something pretty sweet with his girlfriend. Uh, check out this quick clip. So I went out, did something really dumb. It's uh, 1973. I got this Bronco, I picked it up for my girlfriend. She's been wanting one for quite some time. No. Where did you get that? Oh my gosh. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. I should wipe tears away from <laughs> Yeah, that is the Bronco clip of the month. boy, dude, you made the right moves. We look forward to seeing your Bronco build. I'll link the rest of the video in the description so you can go check it out. Subscribe to that guy. Everybody go show him some love. Okay, guys, that's all of that out of the way. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This is kind of the first official Bronco breakdown. Let me know what you guys think it needs. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if you guys don't like it. I'll, I'll try to make it something that you guys enjoy. Again, email me Bronco News. Email me your pictures. Email me your sweet clips of Broncos rolling over because, you know, whatever. What? Ever. We just want to share uh, Bronco stuff, and that's what we're looking for. So email me if you got questions, if you want to participate. We'll do our best to connect with you guys. Yeah, this is, this is going to be sweet. So give me some feedback, and we'll work on putting something together for you guys, a format that is just absolutely awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Bronco News, Bronco TV, it's what we do. So anyways, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace!